Happy Saturday, everyone. Hope everyone had a really wonderful week and that you're having a uh, good weekend so far. Hope that you had a safe Cinco de Mayo if you went out for that. So Mullen Automotive is apparently the talk of the town right now for some reason. And I've been seeing it come up more and more and more in my recommendations. So I decided to take a look. Now, best thing I can say here is approach with caution, all right? Now, I can't tell you the future, but if you're thinking, hey, this is something to get into for perhaps a short squeeze or something like that, approach it with caution, all right? Take a look at their financials for just a second before you jump in on yet another Bed Bath & Beyond-like opportunity, okay? And I say opportunity with a hint of sarcasm. Okay, sure. They've got shareholders equity of about 156 million, which, you know, means that they're trading at a premium to what I guess you could call their book value. But I'm going to tell you, that doesn't matter to me so much because the way that they raised that capital to have that amount of assets on their balance sheet is through what looks to be massive dilution, right? To the tune of like 50 to 1 dilution. So if you were a shareholder back in like 2020, 2021, they've diluted you to the point where your stake of the company is roughly 2% of what it was if you had gotten in back then. So even if they were to go profitable, which by the way, um, their net loss went from $44 million back then to $780 million. But even if they were on the verge of profitability, you'd be sharing it with 50 times more partners than you were. So massive dilution, massive net losses, okay? And as far as I can tell, they didn't actually sell anything and everything is just a hope and a prayer at this point that eventually they will sell something i just don't see how it is that you can reliably expect a return okay because like look at the cash flow statement net loss um no cash from operating activities. Um, yeah, it's not great, right? We have a lot, a lot of negative numbers on here. And yeah, their cash went up. And by the way, at one point, they had 42 grand in the bank <laughs> for a company with a 200 and something million dollar market cap. That's pretty scary. But yeah, okay, now they're flush with cash, but they did it by diluting the absolute crap out of you guys, if you're shareholders in this. So if you're interested in this company, and, you know, yes, I'm not, I haven't really, I, I looked around their website a little bit earlier before the video, and it seems like they have um, their own little niche that they are trying to carve out in the electric vehicle space, but... Here's the problem, okay? Financially, they're really underwater. They're diluting the crap out of you. And you have Ford, GM, um, Honda, Toyota, all of the like old school car manufacturers getting into electric vehicles in one form or another. Plus you have the already existing electric vehicle companies that are, you know, household names like Tesla, Neo, Nikola, Workhorse, etc. I just don't think that the probability of success here is 
terribly high based on anything that I've seen. And I think that if you're going to get involved in this, you need to make sure that you take that into account and only put in what you can afford to lose. View it as something of a lottery ticket, okay? Um, because this is so far off from being uh, cash flow positive, net income positive, or even showing that they have anything resembling a business. They, they, they seem, seems like maybe they have like a, a product, all right? But it doesn't seem like they have a business yet because businesses have sales, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And I just really can't get my head around putting any substantial amount of money into this as it sits. So approach with caution. Don't get into it just for the sake of the squeeze, okay? Look, look at those financials for yourself if you don't believe me. And approach with the utmost caution, all right? Don't let yourself get burned just because this is a stock that people are talking about right now. Just because people are talking about it doesn't mean you need to jump in, all right? Go contrary to the crowd. Remember, you can't beat the crowd by being the crowd. That's really all I got for you today on this particular company. Take it easy, everyone. Again, have a wonderful weekend. Join the Discord, which I'll link in the description if you want to you know, chat more about this and others like it. Leave a comment below with your opinion on Mullen, and subscribe to the channel if you want to continue to be a part of the conversation in a more ongoing type basis. I really appreciate all of your input, and signing off.